Now let's talk about, uh, you know, just a little bit about um, if you were given a formula, how you would solve for a specified variable. Now the idea is if you are given a formula of this form, I equals KE over R, and we want to solve this equation for E. Now when we say we want to solve this equation for E, we are basically saying we want to get E by itself on one side and take the R and the K on the other side with the I. So you want to get E by itself and move everything else over to the other side. So how do you do that? You want to think of these as, you know, if they were numbers, how you would work with them. What would be your, uh, you know, process to solve this? So let's go ahead and take a look at this example. You have I equals K times E over R. Now you want to get E by itself, which means that we want to get rid of the K and the R. So the first thing we will do is get rid of the R and we would multiply R on both sides. Okay, so the R will get canceled from the right hand side. You're left with R times I equals K times E, right? Once you do that, now all you have to do is get rid of the K. Now since you have K times E, you divide both sides by K, the K will cancel out and you're left with R I over K equals E. And that's all you have to do when they say solve for E. So your answer will be E equals R I, or if you want to write I R doesn't matter, over K. This will be the answer that we're looking for. Okay, let's take a look at another example. How would we work with uh, something like this? It's almost similar to the earlier example that we just did. You have D equals 2S over N times the quantity A plus L, and you want to solve this for S. So again, you're solving for S, and you want to get rid of everything else and move it to the other side. So just like we did earlier, we'll start out by getting rid of our denominator first. Now, just like we did earlier where we moved the R, since you are dividing this uh, 2S by N times A plus L, we will multiply both sides by the complete denominator uh, as itself, so N times A plus L, and you can see these will cancel out, okay, which is what we wanted, and you will be left with D times N, the quantity A plus L, and this equals 2S. Now since you are solving for S, which means you want to get S by itself, we divide both sides by 2. Again, since we were multiplying, we divide to get rid of it, and let's see, what do you end up with? S equals DN quantity A plus L, whole thing over 2, and that's what we want. We started at this equation and we solved it for S, and we came down to this. That's all you really have to do here. You're just moving the terms around and solving for whichever variable you want to. You know, basically isolate or get by itself. And there you go. Okay.